Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and we are finally taking a look at some of these Town Hall 9 attacks from the All Star War in CWL. Let's go ahead and get into them though. We have um, some attacks that I think are good examples of what you should be using at Town Hall 9, but we also have some just crazy attacks that just made me say, what was this, what, what even is this attack? And, um, Sorry if you hear some background noise there, uh, but this one is the the first one, and look at it, 23 Valks, 4 heals, and 2 Skeleton Spells. So, very unusual army composition here by Matt268. Goes ahead and drops a hero on either side of the base, a golem for the queen there, and a few wizards for funneling, just getting a funnel created to keep these Valks inside the base. But it's a good base to use this attack on because once they go in that first compartment with the bomb tower, there's literally nowhere for them to go but farther into the base. You even have the, the dead zone on either side there uh, to keep them inside the base. So there's a CC bowlers as well to give some range to that kill squad. No jumps needed, they'll go right through the wall here. Pops the queen's ability, the heroes are getting pretty low, uh, but the queen I think actually manages to stay up very long in this attack here. Um, or does she go down? Yeah, the queen actually goes down, that's a different attack I'm thinking of. But he knew it was a Lava Hound CC, this must have been a cleanup attack, um, because he says, alright, um, CC's not an issue, uh, so I really can just drop these Valks and let them crush the base, and that's pretty much what happened. It gets a little bit weird towards the end because these Valks are going to path in weird directions, and the bowlers are actually going to stay up a little bit longer than we might have thought. The skeleton spell goes down on the Expo. I like bringing the skelly spells because there was really no use for a poison because the CC didn't need it, and the heroes really didn't need it either. Wouldn't have done much of for the uh, defensive queen or defensive king. So it goes ahead and drops those skellies, gets the expo taken out, and then here go the Valks, has one heal spell left. They kind of split here, but still has a solid 10, 12 Valks left up. Um, last heal goes down over that Tesla giant bomb area, and this base is crushed. Uh, nice attack, I, base specific, I think. This attack won't work on every base uh, to be certain, but uh, worked very well here, some nice stuff. Let's move on and take a look at some other attacks. Um, some of them more typical type attacks, I want to say. Uh, 45 is our next one. Buckwheat defending. Same person. I'm not even taking a look at who this is, but once I start recording the videos, this happened, I think, in the 10v10 video uh, that you guys saw earlier. But um, for some reason, I, I seem to to get the same person twice just by chance. So what are the odds? There was a whole lot of Laloon attacks I could have chose, but I decided to do a Queen Walk Laloon because it has that extra uh, you know, complexity to it with the Queen Walk. Uh, so basically he's gonna go ahead and just use the King as a funnel here and to get some good uh, trash cleared out and also let the wizards behind him take some stuff out as well. Wall breaks in the Queen on the corner and unfortunately that one air defense is going to take out a few of his uh, his healers but won't be that big of a deal. I like the way he saved the king's ability because if the king moves too fast he'll get out of range and the defenses will take out those wizards. So because he waited the wizards got a cannon taken out uh, which definitely helps the queen as she deals with the king and the lava hound. A little bit low right here especially after, after losing. <clears throat> one or two healers to the uh, to the air defense, but with that rage and a few minions to help, is able to take out the Lava Hound, has the poison for the pups, the queen will step up and get even more value in just a moment, and then he'll start the Laloon. Um, basically just needs to get that queen taken out is the most important thing at this point. Another Seeking Air Mine comes in, takes out another healer, but pops the queen's ability, down goes the queen, uh, that's all he needed. Now starts the Laloon, and of course has to get those minions down quickly because time becomes an issue on these Laloon attacks when you have the queen walk. Uh, so I think he gets those minions down pretty quickly as the Laloon is going through the base. One more, or two more hastes to uh, to propel them into the last two air defenses. Meanwhile, the queen is still up, which is a huge help for cleanup because she is one of your best cleanup troops. So here go the uh, loons hasted through those last few defenses. And the minions, actually, he kind of waited 
I think kind of trying to see where to drop them, but once he realizes the loons are all heading towards the bottom for the last few defenses, drops the minions on the opposite side, the queen and the loons get the six o'clock, and the minions and the pups get the three o'clock. So great stuff there to Matt, a nice six star war to him, and we have some more attacks to take a look at. Uh, we'll be moving on to number 42 here. Um, this is the Messiah. This one was one of the craziest attacks I have seen. The army composition looks normal, but you notice he has an unusual amount of wizards, and it was like a surgical... A surgical... I don't even know. Take a look at it. Tell me what to call it. Um, but this is one of my favorite attacks. Probably my favorite attack from this war, and one of the coolest attacks I've seen in a while. Nothing too special about the army composition besides all those wizards, but look at how he does this. Drops down the golem, and this is probably the biggest multi-golem queen uh, walk that I have seen. No healers or anything. Deals with the CC right here. Drops a hog on that uh, that air defense. I think it's a skelly trap lure. I don't know what that was for. I think he's trying to get that air defense to help funnel the queen, but she will funnel on her own. No need to take out that air defense. The pathing worked out fine. Next golem goes down, tanking more defenses, but it'll retarget as soon as the double cannon goes down. Uh, drops a few troops to get that last air defense taken out that he was just so intent on getting. Uh, but look at this. It's just going to be an endless golem walk, and he's sprinkling these hogs in just to support the golems as they're tanking defenses. So incredible stuff. Next golem is down. Um, more hogs coming in and take out these defenses. More wizards to help the queen along. And just working his way around the base in a counterclockwise fashion. That expo finally gets off the golemite, but will get locked on to the other one. While it's on the golemite, three hogs to take out that expo. Incredible. Um, the way he's just picking apart this base. Uh, let's see, I think he's going to uh, enter the base soon. He's getting ready to drop that jump spell, finally, uh, for the for the last part of the base. Uh, but the queen still moving. I'm not sure how much was intentional, how much was just kind of improv. Of course, on an attack like this, you can't plan this all out. So I don't even know what the plan was going into this attack. But it looks like finally he's breaking the funnel here to enter on top of these Teslas. So um, last golem goes down. I think he had four golems in total. I want to say. Um, you can see that one golem is stuck on the wall back there, so that's kind of a waste, but it's still tanked for a little while. Pops the queen because she kind of got in range of the other queen, and then one more hog on this air defense. These surgical hogs are crazy, um, but here's the entry with the kill squad. Maybe could have taken out this base with just his heroes at this point, but I think he was low on time, so a raged heal combo on those last five hogs. That will get some good value. Even just five hogs under rage and heal can crush a base. Um, crazy attack uh, to uh, Chow KO time. Um, I don't even know what to say. Just nice stuff to him. Uh, good job, man. Let's go ahead and move on to uh, two more attacks by the premier side. Let's switch over here. Um, starting with number 35. I forget what this one is. We'll have to wait and see. Oh, this was the bitch attack or the the witch slap. Yeah, I think it's called witch slap um, at Town Hall 9. So goes ahead and starts the witches and then the healers on those witches. The healers just keep those witches up for an annoyingly long amount of time if you're the defender um, because it's so hard to kill a troop with the healers on it. We have a weird um, sense of how much healing a healer does because we always see the healer on the queen and not on regular troops but when they're healing like witches for example or any troop that's not a hero they don't have the 50 percent reduction i think that they have on the heroes so they can actually heal up troops um just two healers uh, can heal up over point defense consistently whereas it would take four healers to do it for the queen so pretty cool stuff there uh, but the timing was great the kill squad gets very far through the base Good base to do it on because the compartments keep everything nice and compact as they move through the base. So the golems are tanking, the queen and the bowlers are back behind shooting, and the witches just are refusing to die. Um, the witches on the right side are dealing with that lava hound, but it really can't hurt them with the healer on it. Um, 
with the healer healing the witches there, even the pups aren't going to do much damage because those witches um, can shoot pretty quickly and the healer can heal just as fast. Meanwhile, the witch is up at 12 o'clock doing their thing. I don't think he's lost a witch to this point. Um, maybe he has, but almost all of his witches still up. I think one healer died on each side. Now uh, both healers on the top to that seeking air mine that just came in. But even with one healer dying at the beginning, pretty much on both sides, uh, the other healer able to heal those witches up. Great stuff. The queen makes it all the way through. The golem makes it all the way through. And a few bowlers as well. So nice attack to MCB for the premier side. Let's take a look at one more attack here. Then we'll wrap up this video. Okay, number 49 here. Uh, this is Lake 23. And... One thing in this attack I really liked, and it's these clever little things that often make or break an attack. Just the one witch at 12 o'clock gonna take out the king. Um, no point defense to guard the king, so what's basically gonna happen is that one witch is out of range of the king, but the skeletons are gonna come in and just endlessly spawn and take out that king over the course of the next like 30 seconds or so. Um, so great value, just 12 true space, gets the king taken out, which is important because that will get him off the hogs. That way the hogs won't have the king following them around as they move through the top of the base. Plus the witch is actually going to stay up the entire attack, I think, uh, which is incredible. So here's the kill squad, though, opposite side of the base, um, coming in with the two golems, the wizards for the funnel, and then his heroes and the jump spell in a CC of bowlers, of course. Um, going for the queen, going for the expo, going to get some pretty good value up here at 12 o'clock, and then he'll start the hogs to kind of supplement this push into the base. Double poison for the small CC. We saw a lot of Lava Hound CCs, as you guys might have noticed in the last few attacks, um, but some of them had small CCs. I like the Lava Hound, though, at Town Hall 9. Um, if the queen is going in with the kill squad, she is such an important part of the kill squad that the Lava Hound often throws off a kill squad at Town Hall 9. So it's a nice play, but you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to make like all your bases have Lava Hounds. Just a, a healthy amount of them, typically. Maybe half of them or something. So uh, Hogs moving through has three heals for them. I like the, the new trend of not raging the kill squad. At Town Hall 9, we're seeing three heals and a jump instead of two heals, a jump, and a rage, because oftentimes the rage doesn't do enough value to warrant dropping one heal because the heals are so important for the hogs at Town Hall 9, and um, having three heals makes it a lot easier to move the hogs through the base, and not bringing the rage doesn't hurt the kill squad that much typically. Um, it can still get a pretty good amount of the base taken out. So uh, hogs move through, finish off the base, even has a loon for that last cannon. So nice timing there. We'll fast forward, and thank you guys for watching this video. That will do it for my coverage of this war over the course of three videos. I uh, covered this entire thing from Town Hall 11 down to Town Hall 9. So hope you guys enjoyed all the attacks. More videos to come, and I will see you guys later. Bisectatron out.